1971 Allen digital computer organ. It's the first year that Allen computer organs were made and one of the first examples of uh, sampling technology. It's a fairly low sampling rate so it doesn't have quite the clarity of the modern instrument but it really is significant for it being the first electronic instrument to use that technology. Here's the pedal stop group here. And then up here is the swell. And let me come around here and we'll take a look at the great stops. These alterable voice tabs work with punched optical cards that are read in through a card reader down here. And you can get four different alterable voices. And also here is the crescendo indicator. Why don't you uh, activate the crescendo pedal and just demonstrate that. Okay, and then this on-off switch is to lock the preset action, lock the combination action, so somebody can't change it. We actually had this, this came unplugged before I had to play it this morning. I've been playing this here for almost seven years, and uh, this morning came unplugged, and I had to reprogram all the presets before the service began. Now, Organist 1982 is here. He's going to de demonstrate and you'll notice this very primitive computer action when you press a preset button like if you press 5 you see it takes a second for everything to come on or like if you press a cancel it has to go T -t 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 -t. it has to pull that memory at a very slow rate and there's not a <clears throat> I guess on ours there's an AB bank for memory levels but yeah. this doesn't have yeah, Organist 1982 and I have a 1980s Allen Digital Computer Organ at home. We'll have to give a demonstration of it sometime, but it has some upgraded features. Also upgraded amp power from this one. The more modern ones have an Allen Digital Computer Organ logo on it. And here's the pedal board. It's got a 32-note AGO standard pedal board and then toe pistons for the pedal and, uh, and for six of the general stops. Yeah, here's the preset. I guess it only has six presets total. And a very high bench for somebody like me with short legs. Yeah, Organist 1982 has fairly short legs, so this one's, this is probably a little bit difficult to play. I can play it a little bit easier, but it'd be nice to get, maybe make it a little bit shorter, get one that's adjustable. Why don't you demonstrate the sound quality of, uh, of some of these presets we've got set up now. One problem is controlling distortion. If you end up putting on too many stops at once, and this is actually a factory known problem, you can end up with, with distortion just from summing too much stuff together. So we're trying to get the fullest sound possible on a, on a loud registration while controlling the amount of distortion in the sound. And these, uh, there's also a chorus effect. Let's see what that. Yeah. If you can play something, I'll uh, I'll activate this and see what it does. It just makes it sharper, sounds like, unless. Um... It's also.
also a random motion feature. which I don't like. It kind of creates an auto-tune effect. It's also got a gyro control and that was Leslie's uh, rotating speaker system which actually used a fairly large motor to rotate the speakers but these are non non-rotary just stationary speakers. I'm going to go in the other room now and take a look at the amps. Here are the Allen amps. This one is an original Allen amp and it had a recap job done when this new sanctuary was built in around 1990. We had a transistor failure on one of these amps about six years ago. Oh, come on, focus on it. Alright, there we go. We had a transistor failure on one of these amps six years ago. So I just subbed in a Radio Shack PA amplifier. This is a 1989 realistic PA amplifier that I got for Christmas when I think I was about 11 years old and this amp is actually in the video of my collection back in 1990. It was out at my little playhouse but I just brought this in and the output from the Allen is a microphone level output so I just hooked this up and it's been working good for almost seven years now so eventually I'll get put some new transistors in the original Allen amp but been tempted not to mess with it since this one's working so well. Both of these amps are about 20 watts output power. We're now going to try the Allen computer cards. It uses optical scanning technology to get harmonics based on a card. And it's got all these different uh, it's got all these different things that you can try. Let's see if we can try a Vox humor.